Sagittarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for February 22nd through the 28th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Saggy. The overall energy for the reading, the King of Pentacles. This is a, a pretty steady, pretty... Knowing what you have, what you don't have, all of that good jazz. It's, it's more of a really grounded into reality kind of energy, which is good. It feels good. It feels like you're grounded, you're in a good place in terms of... You may have started to take more care of yourself, you know... Um, and focusing a lot on what surrounds you and to create a stable environment for yourself rather than anything else. In the recent past, you get the Queen of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Knight of Wands. All right. This, this almost looks like an energy of you uh, acquiring all the information possible um, to do healing on yourself. You may have researched a lot, like what's best for me, what's not good for me what you know things like that and then it was a matter of in integrating it all um and starting the healing process for yourself the knight of wands here that's your um energy to bring it all together and then integrate them you know all of the information all of the healing that you read about studied about whatever the case here heard about um, something that would apply to you here. Uh, in your current situation, you get the Nine of Pentacles, the Judgment card, the Three of Swords. All right, trying to create your own stability, trying to create something really, really good for yourself. You know, your own independence, your own uh, stability within yourself, outside of yourself, and all of that. Um, you're carrying a lot of pain, though. You're carrying some pain here that um, I feel like you're not really either seeing or wanting to address. If you are seeing it, you're kind of trying to be like, go away, pain. Don't don't stick around. You're not with me. I'm not with you. Go away. But it's yours, you know, um, and it needs to be addressed because this is, I mean, it's all looking good for now. But it's going to prevent you from moving forward into a way better place than where you're at. Um, in the immediate future, you get the Nine of Wands, the Six of Swords, the Four of Pentacles. Lots of stubbornness is coming in. Um, there's something you're going to need to let go of. And you're holding on to dear life there. For this thing, situation, person, whatever it is. Uh, an energy of you having to let go of something is coming into play and you're going against it. You're like, no, I'm not going to do it. Um, but you know, if you've been on this healing path for quite some time, you're going to understand eventually that we're still going to let that go. We're just going to make things harder for us when we refuse to work with the um, existent energy for it. Um... Let's clarify. Let me clarify the King of Pentacles. Seven of Cups, Five of Swords, the Hangman. Right. You are in a pretty good place overall, and I feel like it's interesting because you're coming in as having a handle on just about anything. But when it comes to emotion, the emotional aspect of yourself, you, you're kind of, there's a sense of self-sabotage almost in there. You know, self-deception, self-sabotage, um, kind of creating all sorts of stories about people, situations, whatever, that may not necessarily be um, aligned with reality of things. So, uh, 
We're trying to figure that one out as well, from what I can see here, you know, trying to understand where reality comes into play and when your perception of things comes into play. Because um, again, overall, I feel like you got it. When it comes to the uh, emotional aspect here, I'm trying to figure that one out. Um, let's see the Four of Swords there in the recent past. The Eight of Cups, the Magician, the Nine of Pentacles. This almost feels like a decision on your part here to... Um, Hmm. To take a break, take a break from love here. There's a sense of you manifesting this um, interest in yourself rather than seeking love outside of yourself, you know. Um, there's a need almost to, to create that stability within yourself. And just taking a break from chasing love around and, you know, trying to bring it into your life and all of that. Um, like a conscious decision of uh, love takes a backseat um, first and then we'll see we'll talk about it later uh, it feels good it feels like a right decision for that time feels like it helps you out a lot let me do the nine of pentacles in the current situation Oh, this goddamn love just doesn't want to let you go, huh? Five of Wands, Five of Cups, Queen of Cups. All right. Just when you thought, you know, you're on the right track, you're doing fine, you're perfect, th th this love comes in. Like, I need love. I want love. And then things from the past come in in regards to love that you have had in your life. And it's throwing you off. It's like confusing the hell out of you here. Because as much as we say or consciously choose to not deal with love for a period of time, love is always there. We always have the heart inside of us. It's beating like, nonstop until it's not anymore. But you know what I mean? As long as we live, the heart is beating. The heart carries the love. So the love is always there as much as we decide I don't want to deal with it. It's still there. So it's kind of like creating this um, almost like a hard time for you to keep on carrying this energy of independence, self-reliance, all of that, when in the back of your mind, there's this, you know, ticking kind of clock saying, well, what about love? Where is that in your life? And you're like, I'm giving it a break. Well, for how long? You know, um, let's do the judgment card in the current situation. The Death card, the Ten of Swords, the Fool. No, I don't know if that's the best decision that you can make. It's almost, it almost comes in as an energy of you not learning from your mistakes, you know? Um, or not learning from something that may have happened in the past. kind of like taking a chance over and over again on things that you know that uh, deep down you know that they may not serve you but you're like I don't care I'm going in you know kind of throwing yourself into everything it could be could be a good energy it could be that but it comes with the sense of you uh, not learning from your past from some situations from your past and not in choosing not to learn you know, uh, again, the full energy in itself is not a bad energy to have to go about things with that kind of energy. Um, but the other cards attached together say, yeah, but, you know, Saji doesn't want to learn. Um, let's do the three of swords. In the current situation, the lovers, the world, the eight of pentacles, something, uh, Something that ended here for you and caused a lot of pain for you 
um, is going to come to the surface. It's going to come to the surface because you need to be working on that paint. I feel like whatever happened, it could have happened 20 years ago where something very significant happened. It hurt the hell out of you. And you just walked away being like, okay, whatever, you know. Yeah, I got hurt, so what, whatever. But you close that pain down inside of you and now it's wanting to come out so that you can address it. Um, it's going to help you grow. It's going to help you move further in the next step of your life, whatever your path is right now. You know, it's it's like you can't keep an, a, a shut eye to it anymore. You have to address it. Let me clarify the Nine of Wands in the um, immediate future. Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, Nine of Swords. You want to take initiative. You want to do something about something and you're feeling stuck. You're feeling like you can't. Um, it could be something outside of you that's keeping things stuck. Like, for example, you want to... Go... I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. I can't think of anything. <laughs> it's like blank. Um, you want to go to the zoo at 2 a.m. and it's closed. Why do I keep bringing, I keep bringing examples with zoos? It's like I can't think of any. Whatever. But you know what I mean? Like things that, you know can't do them at that time you can wait until it opens and then you can go you know um so you kind of like it's coming in like that like you want to do something that's not maybe available right now uh or at the time you're you're planning to do it let's do the six of swords the strength card the page of wands the four of cups Yeah, there's a situation that you are leaving behind um, with the sense of discontent, a sense of I really don't kind of want to do this, but I'm gonna. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of disappointment in this in terms of disappointment in the other part of, okay, I gotta leave you because, you know, you disappointed me. Um, so I don't know what this is. But definitely you're pulling away from either a person or a situation here. Let me see the Four of Pentacles in the immediate future. Eight of Swords, Three of Pentacles, the Tower. You're overthinking. There's a bond you may have with somebody here, a friendship, a work situation, whatever it is. You're overthinking things when it comes to this. And the more you do that, the more things are going to look like they're catastrophic in this situation. And they're not. You know, it's, it's, the dynamic seems pretty simple here. But because you're in your head about it, and you're really staying in that energy of thinking about it intensely in so many ways, uh, things are getting complicated when they, they're really not. I don't know what this is. It could be in regards to work. Um, let's see what the universe has for you. The lovers, the death card, the world card. This situation keeps coming up. Uh, the lovers and the world came together twice and now the death card. Uh, something that has ended at some point is going to um, resurface for you for some reason. There's something in there that probably comes with a lesson that you haven't learned from that situation. So it's going to keep coming up until you do. And I feel like now is a critical time for this energy to show up for you so that you can learn whatever it is you need to learn from there. Of course, for some of you, it could be that something is ending currently. A uh, powerful connection is coming to a closure and end. Uh, but for the most part, I see the energy of the ending coming in rather than the situation ending. Um, but that's it. That's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.